Now, I always end this show by telling you there's always a bull market somewhere in a pump start finish just for you. So where's the bull market? Okay, I'm true to my mantra. When rates go this low, you reignite what had been a pretty strong rally in gold, which soared today. I say reignite because you know, it's been around for some time. It's only briefly paused last Friday, Monday. I would buy gold aggressively on this rate cut, aggressively, especially as protection against whatever horrific predictions uh, made the Fed want to take such a drastic move today. I like the gold miners. You can buy Barrick Gold. I like bullion if you can find a place to put it, and that's not your backyard. And I like GLD. When you're dealing with economic chaos, gold's the ideal insurance policy for your portfolio. I've been telling you that since the show began, and I'm reiterating it right now. Buy some gold. Next bull market. After the first day of any sell-offs that are driven by the bond market like we had today, then you got to pick up the dividend stocks with more bountiful yields. Remember the other day I mentioned Pfizer and Verizon? You know what? I also like ABV, ABBV with its 5.4% yield, especially since it's about to close on its Allergan deal, which will give them a powerful new migraine drug that no one's talked about. But I know it because I'm the chief spokesperson for the American Migraine Foundation. And I can tell you this is a wonder drug pill. And it will move the needle when that deal's done. But nobody's thinking about it because it's in the transition. There are a ton of drug stocks with good yields. If Bernie Sanders wins tonight, uh, primaries tonight, I expect the drug stocks to be hammered mercilessly. I think you should buy them into that weakness because i got news for you. Bernie's agenda will never pass Congress. Finally, I like the medical device stocks that have started rolling over, even though they have zero economic exposure. Wow, they're coming in. Think Dexcom for diabetes. We've got the partner in Dexcom on later in the show, Livongo. I think Medtronic. Man, we love that stock. We saw them in January and January morning. I've been waiting for it to come down. I'm not running away from it now. These ones will come back when the SP futures stop dragging down the entire market. I want to be more bullish on the super tax like the Salesforce or Splunk, both great companies. But they often rely on trade shows and traveling to close mighty deals that might not be doable in this environment. Salesforce sent out a memo last night. It's tough. They want the employees to be safe. That is what matters. Uh, but it is tough to close in deals when you're at home, even with the red hot Zoom video. Once again, it's never too late. I reiterate. To sell the stuff I dislike, travel, leisure, restaurant, anything related to those autos, they are all going to be weaker still, okay? It is not too late to sell them. Am I clear? Now, we are very oversold here. We're minus 12 in the favorite oscillator I look at. You can expect to bounce because there's only been a couple times we've ever gotten this slow, and we've always bounced. Uh, and wasn't and wasn't just Friday, uh, yesterday's bounce. Uh, that will be a better time to sell the ones I just said are verboten. But they can't be kept, sadly, especially there's three managers that run the cruise ships, and they are all spectacular. And cruises are fun, but their stocks don't make sense here. Bottom line, I know I'm early, but you can't wait until the selling ends before you start building a position in this. You have to buy them into the teeth of the sell-off, as we did for my travel trust today, which you can jo- which follow by joining the ActionListPlus.com club. You're not going to nail the bottom, which is being caused by the illness, right? But there are opportunities here and otherwise, just a lot of stocks to sell. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.